So, Andrew, you, you've co-authored a book called Heart of the Flower, which is a book that shows 50 women's vulvas from different ages and ethnic backgrounds. Why do you think it was so important to get this book out there? Well, it was a project that Yvonne Lumsden, a dear, dear soul friend of mine, and I started about, it's been about four years ago now. And the reason why we created it was that over the last several years, labioplasties around the world have tripled, even quadrupled. Now, a labioplasty is when a woman gets her inner labia, inner labia surgically cut off. Mm. And women in Australia can spend up to $10,000 to get this surgery. Mm. Interestingly, in the cosmetic surgery industry, women that are getting this surgery are often labelled uh, as cash cows because it's a very simple surgery that, they, that surgeons can charge a lot of money for. Now, in most cases, up to 95, 97% of women that get a labioplasty, there's no physical problem with their genitals. It's purely a psychological issue that's causing them to get their inner labia removed. Mm. The reason why there's this huge increase in labioplasties over the last several years is because 10 or 15 years ago, women started watching more and more porn. Now, just like men who've been comparing their genitals with the men's genitals that they see in porn, women started doing the same. Mm. And just as men are chosen for the size and look of their penis in porn, often women are chosen for the type of body and the type of genitals that they have. Mm -hmm. And so women are looking at themselves, looking at the women in porn, and if they have a different looking types of genitals, they think there's something wrong with them, so they're getting it in a labia of moves. The cosmetic surgeons are also very aware of this and they're tapping in on women's insecurities with aggressive marketing campaigns. Mm. For example, if you go on a cosmetic surgeon's website, you'll see a before and after photographs of a woman's genitals after before a labioplasty and after a labioplasty. And they'll have phrases like, become more feminine again, oh. or regain your femini femininity again, or look like a teenager again some sort of derogatory comment mm. that's designed to prey on women's insecurities about how they look. Mm. So the reason why we made Heart of the Flower, why we photographed 50 women's genitals of all different ages, shapes, sizes, and races, was to give women another option. And that option was to look at everyday women's genitals, women that are just like them, mm. so that they can see that there's actually nothing wrong with them and that what's actually normal in regards to genitals is diversity. Yes. Diversity is what is considered normal, not everybody looking exactly the same. Yeah. And so we've had tremendous feedback about how the flower, since we published it in 2010, from so many women who had so many issues about their genitals that are now feeling much more integrated much more comfortable with who they are and how they look and their genitals look and feel because they've been able to get a true picture of themselves by looking at other women's genitals that are just like theirs. Mm. I thought it was great in the book. I really loved looking through the book and seeing the women's ages and how many children they had and just how, you know, often you think, oh, as a woman gets older or she has more children that you know, there might be radical changes to the vulva, but just how I came to the conclusion that it is the one part of the body that doesn't seem to age much. You know, it just some older women's vulvas looked like what you would perceive as a young woman's vulva and vice versa. And I just really loved seeing that and for myself personally dispelling those myths. Great. I'm glad you got that because that's one of the messages of the book is that, you know, there's a, an amazing woman in America called Betty Dodson. She's considered the, you know, the great, great grandmother of masturbation because she's supported generations of women to love their bodies, to love their pleasure, to love their orgasm, and to love their genitals. Mm. She has a phrase which is, our genitals are like snowflakes. The two are the same. Mm. And we hope that that's a message that women get from and looking at the photographs and reading the stories that the women in the book have written about themselves. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah.